Hi, and welcome to this episode of Learn Everyday English, where we use words, phrases, and real-life situations to help you learn and improve your English. Today, I'm in the front yard, which is the area that is in front of the house, usually where there's a lot of grass. I'm going to take you on a walking tour of the front yard so we can see uh, what's in the front yard and you can see what's there and learn a few new uh, things and a few new words. So without further ado, hey, let's get going. This is the uh, front yard at the side of the house. And here we have some uh, plants. We call these potted plants because they are in pots or they are in planters, pots or planters. This is the side of the house. We have uh, plants growing in these, uh, we could say flower beds or plant beds. The beds are just where the uh, plants or bushes are planted or are located. So they're called beds. Here, uh, let's see, we have my pickup truck, which is parked in the front yard. Here we have some other plants. And um, this is a decorative chili plant. A decorative chili plant. Uh, we say decorative because these chilies are not uh, meant to be eaten. You can't eat these chilies. They are just for decoration. Here is a concrete or actually a uh, pathway or we say a walkway that is made out of um, pavers and it uh, leads to the front door of the house. It leads to the front door of the house or it goes to the front door of the house and as you can see here in the front of the house we also have more flower beds we don't really have a lot of flowers in the flower beds but we have plants in the flower beds You can see here in front of the uh, window, there is a metal bench, metal bench. On the sides of the windows, the red objects are shutters. We call those shutters in English. And we have a few uh, statues. Here's a statue of St. Augustine, which is a Catholic saint. We have other plants that are in uh, big pots. Here is the uh, front door of the house. And there is a sign on the front uh, wall of the house that says, Welcome. Here in front of me, we have what is called a, um, a water fountain, a water fountain. There is no, uh, not much water in the water fountain right now, but that's a water fountain. And over here, this is a, uh, what we call a, an old wheelbarrow, an old wheelbarrow. But this wheelbarrow does not work. We say it's not functional, but we use it for uh, decoration, for decoration. Here's an item that uh, is a rain barrel, a rain barrel. So it's a big barrel. When it rains, water falls from the roof of the house and it goes inside the rain barrel and then we can use that water to water the plants with. This uh, metal object right here is a water sprinkler water sprinkler 
so we can hook the water hose as you can see next to the sprinkler here is the water hose we hook the hose up to the sprinkler and we can water the grass water the grass and the hose is connected to what we call a water spigot water spigot so this is called the spigot and we can turn that spigot on with this uh, right here water spigot you might have heard something just come on that is called this uh, item right here is called the air conditioning unit or we say sometimes we just say AC unit AC is just an abbreviation for um, air conditioner air conditioner on the side of the house you see this green uh, plant that is uh, covering the side of the house and this is called ivy ivy it's a type of plant in this uh, in the front yard or in this area we have a lot of called pine trees pine trees so as you can see these pine trees are also very very tall very big and the pine trees uh, have a lot of what we call pine needles pine needles so we say that pine trees drop a lot of pine needles so as you can see here at the you see at the base of this tree at the base of this tree which is kind of at the bottom of this tree there are a lot of pine needles so these here are called pine needles and pine trees also uh, have a lot of what we call pine cones pine cones so this is a pine cone so the pine trees also drop a lot of pine cones on the on the grass over here to my right is what we call a fire hydrant a fire hydrant or a fire plug and this is what the fire department uses they will attach their hoses to this and they can get water so that they can fight a fire so they can fight a fire here in the front yard is a uh, make it say a utility marker it's on this side of the marker it has the word warning warning and this is a marker that is uh, for what we call underground cable and the company is called AT&T so this is letting you know that uh, below or underneath this marker there is a AT&T underground cable so here on the uh, marker says call before you dig and you need to call 811 is the number to call and before you start to dig so you don't uh, you say hit the cable or you don't damage the cable and this is the uh, what we call the driveway the driveway that we drive our cars from the street up to the house and the driveway goes up to what we call a carport a carport where we park our cars underneath the carport so this is not really a garage because a garage would have sides to it it would be enclosed this is just a covering a carport where we park the cars so that's a tour of the front yard so that was a tour of the uh, front yard i hope you enjoyed that found that interesting that we learned a few new things so if you uh, like that please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel hit the bell for notifications 
and also tell your friends so that they can uh, know about the channel and benefit. And uh, we'll be continue uh, to bring you videos like this. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye.